Hi there, welcome to my video on the Thinkific Certificates feature. As you may know, Thinkific is now phasing out their partnership and integration with Accredible in terms of using uh, their certificates uh, feature that's integrated so that you could issue that to your students. So with this change, this means that Thinkific is now moving to release their own certificate feature. Now, just to keep in mind, this is really the first release of the feature and there will be more changes needed and more changes coming because this is just the first uh, version release. So some things to note that this is the first version release and there are a lot of uh, features that were available previously in the platform like Incredible that don't really uh, exist here. But I'm gonna show you how you can create a simple template and sort of go over the different designs and styles so that you can uh, pick one that really matches your brand and matches uh, your uh, course material. Because you really wanna think about like a lot of professional organizations issue uh, certificates of completion. Now they usually have like a stamp of approval, like that kind of seal. They also have the branded logo and it's a lot more kind of looking professional. So if that matters for, to you, just so you know, there is going to be some limitations, but there are some workarounds that you can sort of use and navigate for now um, until Thinkific releases um, more features to this certificate option. So uh, let's just go through these different styles and then I'll walk you through how to sort of tweak it based on uh, the options available. So. Uh, there are seven different templates to choose from. Um, they all kind of range from modern, simple, classic, more higher education kind of style, uh, and more kind of general and very simplistic. The most important thing to remember when choosing a style is that uh, it really reflects your brand, your business, and your um, uh, branding. So um, you really want to be discerning about the look. Now, if you don't like these templates, you know, because they're very, you know, they are templates and they may not really match what you're trying to go for. Uh, if you go to the design tab, there's a lot of options where you can customize uh, these colors. Now, uh, this is where, like, I think um, it's nice the fact that they give you all these color pickers to choose from, but also I would align with uh, your brand colors. So uh, this is definitely aligned with the image here. So you see the background image, it has like a dark overlay. So they really use that dark text color and sort of similar style of black and grays to sort of match this dark banner. And the text color also matches that style. So really uh, the most important thing is to sort of look at your branding guidelines and your branding colors so that the colors and the text colors all match up. And the same thing goes for font. I'm just going to choose Montserrat uh, because that's just the default. And then, um, so the certificate is very simple. It says certificate of graduation. Um, you can also uh, enhance this and brand this further by uploading your uh, business logo. And so I can just take one from Dropbox. And once I connect my Dropbox account, I will see, um, I'll pick a uh, photo logo. And there. And the only challenge is that it is, you'll have to think about this when you're designing uh, the certificate is that if you, uh, there is a recommended background image size. So the, if the size, and I would sort of uh, remember that if you do want to add a logo, it's going to be here and you have no option to customize and or move where it goes. So if that's the case, I would then recommend to have your graphic designer switch uh, the design of your background image so that this kind of panel is switched over to the other side and then you can add uh, the logo here if that's important for you. Now then in terms of the actual text and fields, there are some limitations and we'll just do our best to sort of work around with this first uh, release of this new certificate feature. So it says certificate of graduation, but let's just say you wanna just uh, say certificate of completion. So then I'll just change it to say certificate of completion. And um, the field just says certificate is award to, and I think that's fine. I mean, if you want to change um, this certificate is, you know, bestowed. If you want to be more like fancy, you could say bestowed to, or you can say bestowed upon. 
and you can just say as a the text above the course name has that the student has pursued studies and requirements and you know if you like that that's fine i don't personally like it so i would just delete it and just say that the certificate is bestowed to the person's name and then add the course the course name here i know right now you cannot add any additional fields or you can't hide any additional fields right now and so this is just sort of the first way, but if you wanted to add something really important to say like, you know, this person uh, completed a social media analytics course, then you could say uh, graduated from the School of Social Media Analytics. And that's just to sort of make it a little bit more specific to say, I'm not just generating a generic certificate, I'm issuing a certificate for someone who completed a social media analytics course. I know I spelled it wrong, but I'll fix it here. And so this is really just a simple kind of workaround. And uh, the other thing to mention is that you can designate which course this goes to. So let's just say this is going to go, I'm going to issue a certificate for anyone who completes my launch your online course in six weeks. And then I will uh, let the certificate expire after 365 days. That would be like a year. And then I can continue to add more courses um, as I continue to build out more courses. Now I'm going to save this and also then um, show you uh, the other part of this where you can um, duplicate this. So now if I've generated one certificate already and I want to duplicate it some more, I'll go back to the support your students tab and then scroll down to certificates. And then I'll see I've created one sample right now. If I wanted to duplicate it, I would then click on duplicate. And now I've made a copy, but if I want to edit it, I then go back to edit. And it'll take me back to the same uh, dashboard uh, to edit this certificate. So as I've uh, mentioned before, this is kind of a workaround. This is kind of the first release, but um, this is something that you can sort of tweak with. And remember, the most important thing is to align the colors in your certificate with the rest of your landing page. Um, this is important for consistency and for kind of a good kind of uniform brand look. And that uh, you might uh, also want to consider uh, working with a graphic designer to make your own banner image so that you don't have a very look, uh, certificate look that looks like everyone else's certificate. Um, and so that would mean recognizing that there are specific dimensions in the design tab uh, to give to your designer, as well as uh, remembering how uh, it fits with a logo if you want to add a logo. Frankly, I think adding a logo is nice because it just shows that your certificate is very unique rather than generic. And any kind of ways that you can differentiate yourself in this market is really important. So. I hope that helps. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, comments, feedback. Um, hit a like, subscribe, um, uh, and let me know what I can do to help. Thanks again.